Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates today we bring latest update regarding UK Visa and Immigration Updates The UK government's new 21 immigration plans for controlling immigration UK Visa and Immigration Updates Find out about the 21 creative immigration techniques that the UK government has implemented to efficiently handle immigration Look at how labor is advancing the welfare of society The UK government's new immigration control plans number 21 1 Strengthening the British workforce by improving training for British workers, labor hopes to reduce the demand for foreign labor. The goal of this project is to reduce the current 3 million strong reliance on foreign labor. 2. Absence of migration goals. Labor claims that establishing a migration objective is unwise because the Conservatives have previously failed to decrease net migration to less than 100,000. 3. Redesigning apprenticeships One of the plans is to shift apprenticeship funding to high migration industries. Foreign workers are currently employed in fields like as construction and healthcare, totaling more than 1.2 million. 4. Limiting visas. Labor supports harsher immigration requirements implemented by the previous administration, which recently upped the minimum pay threshold for skilled immigrants by nearly 50%. 5. Plans for developing skills and new law requires government agencies to create plans for skill development. The anticipated annual cost of these initiatives is £500 million. Will this investment reduce the reliance on foreign workers? 6. Reduce reliance on foreign labor. Workers aims to significantly reduce the economy's reliance on foreign workers, which employs approximately 17% of the UK workforce. Just imagine the impact if more skilled locals were hired. 7. Concentrate on the construction sector. By boosting domestic training, labor seeks to lessen the construction industry's reliance on foreign workers. Currently, the construction industry employs over 200,000 foreign workers. 8. ID sector transformation. Similar programs to foster homegrown talent are planned for the ID sector. Given that foreign nationals have over 150,000 ID jobs, there could be a big shift in this field. 9. Reforms to social care The party aims to address the shortage of social workers without relying on immigration. Currently, foreign nationals account for more than 16% of social workers. Can our elderly people receive high-quality care thanks to labor's reforms? 10. Changes in the healthcare sector to reduce dependency on foreign health workers. Labor plans to upskill British staff. The NHS employs more than 200,000 foreign staff. 11. Engineering sector strategy The intention is to fill engineering jobs with locals by prioritizing training. Currently, there are about 58,000 foreign engineers employed in the UK. 12. Greater pay ceilings. Labor supports increasing the salary threshold for skilled work visas, which will result in around 50,000 more applications for visas each year. Will British workers get paid more as a result of this action? 13. Extending the hiring prohibition the party wants to make it harder for businesses that break labor laws to hire foreign workers. This might affect roughly 1,000 firms annually. Would more punitive measures ensure fairer behavior? 14. A committee of independent advisors. Labor proposes enhancing the Migration Advisory Committee's autonomy and proficiency. Currently, the MAC influences over 200,000 work visa selections each year. Do you believe this will lead to more objective decisions being made? 15. Collaboration in the business domain to overcome the skills gap. The business community and government are launching a new cooperative. Over 500,000 employment across numerous industries could be impacted by this initiative. Can collaboration bridge the talent gap? 16. Eliminating the freedom of movement. There are already almost 1.4 million EU nationals living in the UK, and Labour has no plans to allow free movement of people between the EU and the UK again. 17. The Skills England Initiative. Skills England, a new expert agency, will oversee the national skills development projects. This body will have an annual budget of about £100 million. Will centralizing skills training produce better results? 18. Point based system labor plans to improve the existing immigration system, which is based on points and affects over 300,000 applications every year. 19. Handling atypical migration. Labor's primary focus will be dismantling criminal networks that facilitate unlawful boar crossings. In 2023, almost 45,000 broke into the channel without a Thorsat. 20. The agreement on EU returns. The planned accord would include a quid pro quo on migration with the EU. This might mean thousands of migrants returning home each year. 21. 
ending the Rwanda initiative, Labour has withdrawn the controversial Rwandan Asylum Seeker Programme, which has cost the UK over £120 million.